is Gareth Coker and I'm writing the music for the video game Perfect World. When, when you start a project, you're always looking for a unique challenge. The fact that it was a mobile game was, was attractive in the first place. And then when they told me the scope of the project, I was like, you're, you're really going to fit all of this into a mobile game. OK, sounds great. Perfect World is set in this really, really epic world with tons of amazing beasters and dreamlike escapes. Your goal is to progress through the world and become more powerful and defeat monsters. There's all kinds of crazy things going on. When I started writing, I thought, well, you know, most people are going to be hearing it through the phone speakers, so you, you, you think about how can I make it appropriate for listening through a mobile phone, but then after speaking with the developer, they were like, nope, we want you to do big, we want you to go epic, and we want you to go orchestral, and I'm like, okay, well, that's exactly what I'll do. We've got 61 musicians here today. They said they wanted to record with an orchestra, which is always fun. Recording at Ocean Way, it's a converted church. It just has a really aesthetically pleasing sound. I can't describe it, but we've all heard it because it's been used in so many great game soundtracks. It sounds really, really good. Let's do the strings and the winds. Ten, here we go. The thing we focused on first is establishing a strong main theme. The real tricky part was finding out what instruments, how to orchestrate it, where do we want to feature certain sounds, or where do we want to make it sound more fantasy, where do we want to make it sound more Chinese. The big thing for me is woodwind, and especially given the environmental nature of this game. Not only do we have a big woodwind section in the orchestra, we also have a soloist who has like 40 to 50 different wind instruments. And they're not just Chinese uh, wind instruments, they're actually from all over the world, like Irish whistles, we've got the Indian Bansuri. Kind of wanted it to sound like it's from all over the world because the game is so big, it can't be focused on one ethnic region. The game has several environments and there's also three races which require specific things. So each race has a featured instrument. You're trying to look for like a hook for each track. In some cases it can just be the instrument, in other cases it can be the melody. You are trying to take the player to that place so that they forget that they're in a studio or in their bedroom. You want them to think, I'm in this place in the game in Perfect World and forget their current surroundings. To do that just requires a lot of experimentation. But I find once I'm kind of falling into a dreamlike state, then I think the player is doing that too. 